Today is my mama's birthday, an incredibly passionate, gifted, and brave woman, whom I wish to celebrate by making this short video collage for her and for you. It's hard to summarize who my mom is because she is an art therapist, a child psychologist, a puppeteer, someone who has many, many hobbies that she excels at, a woman who has a deep spiritual soul and someone who's also a very crazy adventurer and goes on all these insane trips in Amazon jungles and forests for weeks and has, goes on hikes on mountains all over the world where we can't reach her for a couple of weeks even. But above all things, she is my mom who raised me and my three sisters in incredibly difficult scenarios post-Soviet Armenia where she somehow managed to always pay attention to our creative and artistic development and always listened to us and always created games for us to be entertained with and develop when people were worried about where the next meal is going to come from uh, without running water and electricity for many of the years of my childhood. During these years, my mom turned the entire first floor of my home, which was mainly my father's art studio and continues to be, the garage and the small cellar where we kept dried fruits and preserves for the winter time, into an art school, into an open art school where all of us, all of my cousins, all of my neighbor's children and some of my teacher's kids were always welcome to for incredible art lessons that my mom gave for free. This space also turned into a gallery for exhibiting all of our works and we were always engaged in creatively, emotionally and intellectually stimulating games and productions together. I'm very happy I found this footage to share with you. Character developing, psychological state, creative capacity determining tests were always a part of our family gatherings. It's a tradition my mom continues to this day. And a few years ago, when she came to visit me in Brooklyn, she led an interview with me. And I can't remember what this was for. Maybe she, it was a program she was creating or something. But we both forgot we did this interview. And I found this on my external a couple of days ago. And I want to continue this video with that interesting interview we had. Yeah. So five negative situations. You are getting older, mm -hmm. you feel more tired, mm -hmm. you have pain in your knees constantly, your muse visits you less and less often, and you're, you feel sleepy all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'll be wiser, and these glorious curls will be all white, which I look forward to. <sighs> Great. Now, uh, do you consider yourself a kind person? Yes. Yes. Do you consider yourself an intellectual person? Yes. Are you sexy? Yes. What would be number one? Out of kind. Point? Kind? Yeah. Uh, what would Open minded be? and kind. I so think intellectual kind. and kindness should mm -hmm. have more. So this, the, according to your test, yes. By the way, your Bawa. kindness mm -hmm. is uh, thirty percent of your nature. Oh, okay. I'm not going to explain why. Uh, your intellectuality is also thirty percent, mm -hmm. and forty percent is sexuality. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. No, kindness is forty percent. Sorry. So kindness is forty percent. Hmm. Yeah, you were right. It's kind of equally distributed. Kindness is the most, 
then you're intellectual, and then another 70-30% um, is uh, so sexuality. No, you're, you're 70% right. is more than the open. No, you no, mean the combination I'm, of 40 combination, and 30. Yeah, so it's only 30 uh, yeah. in, in, in sexuality. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, you're very balanced. That's awesome. I'm very sexy, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. And, and also, yeah, thank you. I also wanted to say when you said the muses visit, we have this perception with, uh, um, in, in, in regards to artists and creative people, we always like this assume, you know, the muse visit us for a great composition to be written or a great film to you be make made. It visit you. you make You make muses visit you. It's the same thing as we talked about the balance of the earthliness, yeah, physicality and intellectual and spirituality. It's the same thing. It's all it's all uh, ludicrous and wrong information about creatives okay. being visited by muses. There is, of course, inspiration, but if you don't sit your ass down and practice every day, c consistency is what makes muses visit, I believe. Okay, since, since you touched that subject, as, as a human that uh, into art field, creative field, do you think it's blessing or it's um, spell? Oh, both. To, to be in that both. field? Both. Both. I am a very social and happy and ecstatically joyous person to be alive, to be able to create and connect with people. But I also have a miserable and solitary part of me. Um, not, so I don't think I'm saying anything new, but again, it's that thing of, again, the trying to keep the balance of the two so that you don't lose your sanity. Uh, but it's both. It's both. Sometimes I feel that it's a curse. Sometimes I feel that it's a blessing. And you, as a mother of creative people and being one yourself, would realize and know this better than I do, that being a mom, being in the family of many creative people, can be a blessing and can be a curse because you've seen us work, trying to work um, together. The psychologist who knows the creative mind. Very good. No. Thank you for Thank being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Currently, my mom has a YouTube channel called I See You, where she posts all sorts of interesting things from the neurographical lessons she teaches to adults and children in Armenian, in English, and in Russian. Then we have to resolve all these sharp angles all the obstacles in order for us to move forward, to come out from our own space, being isolated, created wall around us. We have to come out and connect to the field of energy, to the quantum field. And at the end, um, this is just the beginning. I'm not going to make you tired with all these uh, images. So at the end, we will end up having something like this, something like this, like this like this. Well, this is uh, one of my favorites. It's a neural tree, the tree that develops all the coming from the root and then develops in the trunk and then comes your future with your branches, with the harvest and everything that you're planning. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and happy birthday to my mama! Uh-huh. Good.